Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 16th episode. <laughs> you made me laugh of the broadcast. I'm your host, Sango, with my other host, Katasama. And yeah, it's been a while. There's a f- couple of reasons why we went on hiatus. Main reason is、uh, Kata. If you could explain yourself real quick. Wow. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't know. Why? No, it was me. What? What? Why are you trying to give me the scapegoat? What? I said that because you, both、What? of us know it. It was me who's、uh, like stopped our podcast for a while. It's just personal reasons and. Also, just also, yeah, I'm really lazy as well. But yeah, we'll we've come back to it, and this is our return episode. Yes, episode fifteen. Then you forgot <laughs> what I said. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah. Um, what episode was it? Episode sixteen. I said sixteen. Yeah. So yeah. I did have topics, but that was like a few weeks ago, and then.、Uh, What they're relevant now? I mean, I guess let's have one thing. There's one thing on my mind back then that I still remember.、Uh, did you hear about Popcat? Yeah. So I don't know、so、what that was. Uh, I just know a bunch of you know, Thai people were just like, "Oh my God, we're top one and something." And yeah, yeah we're like, really happy to have that as <laughs> what an achievement. An achievement. <laughs> to be fair, at the beginning, like right now, when I last checked, Thailand's number four, but it was at that like a few weeks ago. It was like around seventy billion tabs. On that site, that was the top one, and then somehow I don't know how it happened, but Thailand just like skyrocketed to the top in a matter of, I think, a few days, I believe. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess it's like <laughs> it's like a group team effort. We finally achieved something together. Yeah, but it's like, what was that? What you just go and click a bunch of times? Uh, yeah. You know, tap games. Oh, okay. The cook, cookie clitter, click clitter, clicker, and、uh, tap time and stuff like that. I used to play them a lot as well. Hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's great. I guess. Yeah, that was but, one of them. But like, why though? Why so do something so pointless? <laughs> you can ask that a lot, a lot of things. Do, yeah, I know. Why do but... we do so many things? <laughs> but it's kind of just like when you just go. I just imagine like so many people from this country just going and on this whatever website or whatever and just clicking on their computers. Yeah, I went up to. I played for a few hours. I think I went up to twenty five thousand, and I stopped. You played for a few hours. What? I was just like, oh, this looks interesting. Tap tap tap. You know, it's just like you're. You can watch your series or videos, stuff like that. Do something else and have your finger just, you know, like tapping on it all the time. That.、Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah,、uh, you don't need to understand it, but we were very happy back then. Yeah, not anymore. We're fourth. Cause、okay. there's no way Thailand can keep it up. Oh no! No way. Taiwan came back like freaking. They were like, wait, what? They took over. Okay, let's, uh, guys, come on. Yeah, it's probably the only leather, the leather board right now is number one, Hong Kong. Number two, Japan. Number three, Taiwan. So you know, generic. <laughs> Basically,、uh, the gamers. gamers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Freaking out! I feel so bad for、uh, what's been happening in China as well. Oh, 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 yeah. You want it's two topics actually. It's the banning of <laughs> sissy boys 
off what? television. What is That's that? That's one of them. Uh, Wait, what is second, that? Uh, we'll get into that. But the second one would be uh, kids not being able to play from Monday to Thursday, like play games mm. for some reason. Um, yeah. Any thoughts, boy? I think that they, the kids, should be able to play games. I do agree that uh, gaming time should should be regulated, but I feel like I feel like uh, China has taken it to another extreme, right? Because it's like what one hour per day, right? Is it? it? I'm not sure. I just read the headlines pretty much and scrolled through a bit. Was it? Do they ban it completely or do they get a limited time? Pretty sure it was banned completely. Well, then, yeah, that, that's dumb. Later. That is stupid because I don't know. Gaming is just. I don't. Uh, I will, it's needed in a way, maybe? Like No, I mean, it should be regulated, but it's not. It shouldn't be regulated by freaking law, man. Yeah. And how would you tell if it was a game or not? Was, assuming, like, what if you. What, you couldn't play Sudoku or something? Mm. Uh, they'll arrest you if you play tic tac toe or something. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know what are what is the criteria for the games, but I I feel like it's a bit too much and it's it's a bit too harsh because it's 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 like a part of just kids' childhood, you know. I mean, I could I wouldn't be able to be able to imagine us like big banned from playing video video games i mean it like it helps i don't know build just, uh, some social skills if you play multiplayer and also i don't know it gets your brain running and and it's fun as well so <laughs> i blew like what are what do they have to do for fun then like go outside go outside I in guess. the freaking pandemic just... and, and well i mean china's been pretty uh, I think they've been opening up pretty recently. Mm. At the same time, I mean, there's all. I mean, I'm just going. I'm being devil's advocate. I'm just saying that it's not a good idea to play all that long. You know how they're they've been fighting uh, addiction. Yeah, like, yeah, but I out. feel like uh, banning them from that is not a solution. That's just. That's, that, I feel like that. Okay, maybe it's like a lazy solution to the problem. No, it's a halt to the problem, but it's not solving anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Is that at the same it, time, you could, you know, you can see like they've banned cryptocurrency as well. It's, there are people still using it, no matter yeah. what. They're gonna find they ban- ways around it. <laughs> yeah, they banned YouTube. The people just use VPN. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much it. It's, is banned by law. But I'm so. wondering, how are they gonna enforce the law? How are they gonna know when a kid is? Well, playing? I mean, think of like asking internet service providers for your information, assuming like they say what uh, games they've played. You know, it shows like even yeah, it knows what you've been online doing. Yeah, and then they could just give the information to the government. Yeah, but how would they, they know if it, it was a kid? I mean, like a kid could fake information. They could say they're eighteen when they're not. Uh, adults don't play games anymore. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. I. It's just a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> position to, uh, rule to enforce anyways yeah the second one uh the second topic i was gonna talk about like it's <laughs> it's just funny you, uh so when i say that's li- literally the headline like sissy boy it's bad from television it's like <laughs> part of their new uh culture renovate uh reformation thing like go back to better times i guess where Mm. i don't know k-pop idols weren't so available or something 
Yeah. So why is it called Sissy Boy? <laughs> to be fair, Katar, K-pop idols—they're not very. They're not this. Uh, how do, how should I say this? Masculine. Not very. Yeah, they're not very masculine. I feel like that's There's a better a, term for that, but I'm not. I, I don't, it's not on the top of my head. Hmm. No, they shouldn't ban people <laughs> off TV. That's well, it. they do that. They just. I don't know. They ban so many things. Nah, I don't even. Some things I don't even know. I heard they also. To reserve like, the culture. To reserve the culture, that's it. Hmm. I heard they also, like, banned uh, a VTuber from. Uh, like from I'm uh, showing there because I think she said uh, that Taiwan was his own what it was its own country. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> she got bad for that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that messy stuff. Wait, why not? I don't know, Taiwan is in a country? Is it its own country? Yes? No? I don't know, there's very, there's a lot of controversy surrounding that topic. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too informed on it. I just know that Taiwan's been, like, uh, protesting, as well as, like, Hong Kong for mm. independence. But that new legislator that was coming out, uh, I don't know, two years ago, last year? I don't know. Yeah. But I think it's funny because uh, no K-pop idols. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I'm guessing like the... Yeah, at the same time it's sad but it's also kind of funny. <laughs> I like, mean... Oh no, no K-pop. What are we to do? <laughs> you can clearly see that we are... I don't know if you're a fan but I'm definitely not. <laughs> I mean, There's only like a couple songs I like. Does she do? Does she do? It yeah. would have... <laughs> but I only listen to them ever, like, whenever I see you guys, and that's it. Mm. I don't really listen to K pop. I just know about it. I don't really hate on them. I just. I like making fun of them sometimes. But <laughs> I don't actually care. I mean, it's fun. It's it's kind of fun to make like make fun of them. Yeah, it's fun to make fun of the stands and all that. That's definitely fun. Yeah. If you were on Twitter, you'd be dead. <laughs> you'd die. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Huh? Send me send me death threats from America. It's, it's weird. Like, uh, stand yeah. <laughs> yeah. Standing American, they're banning, like, they're canceling you by your kind. It, it's your own opinion. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm not going anywhere with this. My head's been scrapped. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know. Cancel culture in America, I think that's where it's most prominent. Well, I think I was what I was going for was. Uh, I'm going to think of it. They're outraged for other people. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like their own, like uh, they can be outraged for a different uh, race or something, mm. and then like us here, we we wouldn't really care about it, to be honest. They get outraged on our behalf. Yeah, there we go. You said it way better than I did. <laughs> you just needed to to find the right wording, but yeah, I I get it. I, I saw this um, video on YouTube. It was like it was like uh, a guy went and compared Japanese Twitter to English Twitter. So what he did was there was this Japanese girl who like posted um, a before and after of when she was you know a bit overweight and then her like transformation. So like she lost weight and now she's skinnier and happier. And it showed like. But before she was not really happy with herself but now she is and in Japan everyone was like you know cheering her on and like congratulating her and all that I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this but then I, uh, I have my ideas <laughs> huh I have my thoughts yeah go on yeah so I he then he took I no he didn't take I think 
someone took it and did put it on America Twitter, and then all the Americans were like, "What is this? You should be happy with yourself when you are fat and stuff. I don't know stuff like that. Kind of like shaming her for losing weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that. Now." Uh, so what are I'm your not, thoughts? I'm not, I'm not gonna body shame anyone because, like, it could be a factor of you not eating. It could be like eating disorders. It could be like res- genetics as well. A lot of things can result in you not uh, like getting obese or fat, stuff like that. But yeah, just for me, I just know that exercise has make make me feel a lot better about myself. Hmm. Like, reaching goals that I never thought I would achieve you know like I'm still like beginning don't get me wrong I still have a lot more to improve but just the state of putting yourself uh, towards something and seeing the results you like a few days weeks months like uh, a few years down the line uh, you can definitely feel happier that you've made it this far with that hmm. yeah. it's not it's nothing about like uh, beauty standards it's just trying to improve yourself more because I'm very careful <laughs> I'm trying to say I think but, it's a very uh, delicate topic <laughs> like but, I maybe you can be happy with yourself when you are fat like yeah that's fine okay you're happy with, for yourself I won't bother with that but like some people are not and some people want to be skinny and happy when they're skinny maybe maybe it is from i don't know social pressure i don't know because i don't know maybe it's like a beauty standard or something but if they genuinely want to become skinny then that should be fine as well if you want to be fat go ahead (laughs) i don't just you know but if someone wants to be skinny and then they get then they work towards it and they're happy because they're skinny now it doesn't mean they're fat shaving they're just like they're happy as that that that's what they wanted to be or you know yeah. I, but just don't glorify <laughs> glorify uh, people not trying yeah I I don't know I also feel like people could use it as an excuse to like uh to like maybe so maybe there are they are actually fat and unhealthy you know and maybe they use it and um, they use like oh you should be happy when you're fat or something like that as an excuse to like not imp- to get health get healthier or something yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know. It's a very delicate topic. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, just get... reach. There will be there will be a certain point where you cross where you will have to take care of your body because there will be like health risks and stuff like that. But yeah. At the same time, we're o- it's okay to have a little bit of belly fat. It's okay to have well, uh, what else is there? Fat. <laughs> stretch marks or something and yeah mm. just it's a fine line you have to tell yeah I, I mean I don't know we've never been fat in our lives we've got some pretty good G genetics yeah blessing and curse <laughs> no get me wrong yeah we are you know, a no, bit no, no, no. over skinny no, no, no I don't yeah, people say that uh, being skinny is better, but I kind of want to be able to bulk so I can cut. Yeah. <laughs> we, right? We, I want to get big so I can cut it down and, gain, and reveal the muscle that's been there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be like those freaking skinny... We don't grow muscle very easily we more like we just get toned and we just we no, get we're very, like we're skinny lean fit. we're skinny yeah we're lean yeah that's pretty much it. yeah but we just 
we can't get big. I mean, we can. It's good. It's just take a take time. A lot of money. Yeah, you have to put a lot of money into like. Dot. No, not a lot of money, but you just have to make sure you know what you're eating and just focus more on that instead of just yeah. going to seven. I mean, you can dirty bulk actually. I don't think we can. Can we? I feel like we eat so goddamn carelessly and much. I feel like and we haven't gained a thing. I I feel like we'll have to eat like overeat and like feel like we're gonna throw up every time we have a meal to mm-hmm. in order to gain some weight. I think we'll probably need to get a nutritionist or something. Mm-hmm. Like get a proper person to handle the diet. You know, be the best if we can. Otherwise, I'll try for the generic chicken broccoli. <laughs> I didn't get any today, but I think like later I'll try mm. to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> well, going back to the topic of K-pop, there was um La Lisa, Lisa's single. Yeah, boring. I didn't even listen to it. I just saw a bunch of Thai people freaking freaking out about it. I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, this Thai Thai person's made it. Look at her. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a huge music video. Like it top, is. It got. I think it like got top ten and like uh, how many views in a day or something. Yeah. But do yeah, we good, like? Good do we her. really count her as? Like uh, she's Thai, Thai, but she was Korean made. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's kind she of was made like in Korea. <laughs> made, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I've heard from our sister sister that I don't know. She went to some tryout when she was like fourteen or thirteen, mm-hmm. and then she got. She was like the only one out of like thousands that try uh that were there for auditions and she was the only one that got in and then they took her to korea taught her korean taught her how to dance and all that because i don't know idol culture in korea and stuff actually no idol culture in general like idols have to be like almost perfect so yeah she got all that training in korea and now she is what she is a very big uh k-pop person <laughs> very big k-pop person <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah so i don't care do i count her as thai nah she is thai but like um most of her stuff that she learned was in Korea, so like she doesn't, she didn't like come f- and work in in Thailand to become uh, international, like, you know. Yeah, she's not like people who are like Thai actual Thai music artists. Yeah, someone like Poom Bip Red, you know, like Lover Boy or something. <laughs> no, it's like an indie song that got uh, that got viral. And he made it off of that. Like he mm. was in Thailand. I don't. He probably like learned abroad, but he uh, learned to make songs here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But was it like a Thai song? No, oh, no. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like, uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't have something. That is like Thai, so so like the Lisa, uh, Lisa, she like sings in Korean and Korean pop and all that. So that's Korean basically. And then what the indie guy probably sang English, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's English. So it's not even Thai. Oh uh, no, pe- Thai Thai music videos are huge though. Some some of them. I feel Big. like they're huge in Thailand. They're not kind. They're kind of not international. It's kind of like a national thing. Uh, That's what I mean. Uh, it's like kind of a song that you would know. Maybe let's like say Despacito or something. Yeah, like something that breaks through on an international level. So yeah, I don't think so. Thailand has got a long way to go. 
Just saying. Almost We're just here, almost there. We have <laughs> no, Thai rappers singing in English too. Uh, I I don't uh, know. I seriously don't know any Thai artist. If you <laughs> if you if you came and asked me who. Uh, what Thai artist do I know? I'm just gonna say Lisa, and then that's it. Because <laughs> all I know, I don't. Know. I know a couple. I've. You probably know like songs, but you just don't know the names of them. I don't even think I know songs. Yeah, you know like Apun 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 Manakal. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? What? You don't know the Thai fruit song? No, I mean like actual songs. It's like not freaking nursery. Actual song. <laughs> no. One of the first songs you learned. No. That plus, I don't even remember. Yeah, uh, some artists I like, like uh, Free Musketeers, <laughs> Tilly Birds, Free Man Down. Uh, anyone else? What sector is it? I don't know. I don't really listen to Thai rap though hmm. I feel like I'm not really cultured in music at all yeah I because you just listen to openings I yeah I listen to a, a lot of different songs I don't even have like a specific genre in my playlist I just pick what I like and put it and mash it all into one playlist pretty sure everyone does that I don't know Find what you like and put it in a playlist. That's your I don't like know. Playlist. I but they're all they're from very different genres. Some of these songs, some are indie, some are pop, some are rock. So, you know, it's it's very mixed. Yeah. Oh, uh, did we talk about Ronaldo? Oh no, we didn't. In- yeah, so Manchester United is set. They're, they are scary now. <laughs> yeah, you, you Arsenal they has just, no chance. They just, they just won their match against West Ham. Not just. Uh, just Didn't they lose against some team because someone was stupid, Jesse Lingard? I don't know what team they're up against. Was you it? sure we're not talking about... I don't think it's Premier League. It uh, might be like UFA, UFA group day or something. Hmm. I forgot what team it was, but yeah, they lost that one. I'm just, it's just Premier League pretty much. Hmm. But yeah, they're going places now. I mean, they're, they're always like coming up a bit. Yeah. Arsenal is. <laughs> We're just happy we got wins <laughs> against... Norwich and Burnley. We almost, at one point, we almost sacked Arteta because it was just going that bad the first three. <laughs> we lost our first three matches. That's great. Sad. <laughs> We're going to I just funny. don't watch. I just don't watch it anymore. I just can't. Why do you even like Arsenal? It's always been ingrained in my head. I don't have a clear reason why I chose it. I just remember when back at our when we went to you go to international school when we were kids. Yeah. My first PE class. Not my, oh yeah, my first PE class. We had a British football coach come over and teach us. I think they just hired him, and for homework, we wanted. To, he wanted us to choose another team. He said four teams, and he wanted us to choose a fifth one. Hmm. The first four teams he said were, he said the first, like the four big ones. Yes. Yeah. Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Arsenal. And I don't know. I there's no reason why I chose Arsenal. I just stuck with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a good reason. You're like, oh, it has it has a big gun on it. Let's. That might be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> As a cannon. It's like what? What are the other ones? Freaking bird. Yeah. Who's gonna pick the duck, man? No. One's... Manchester United is... is a devil, right? Chelsea. What is Chelsea? Chelsea's a lion. 
Yeah, I if I was a kid, I would probably also pick the cannonball. Like, come on, it's a freaking cannon. It's called Arsenal. <laughs> also, Arsenal sounds cooler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And then, yeah, yeah. I just cheered on. It's just been in my head for that long. Mm. Oh yeah, the fifth team wasn't even like Premier League. I just said the Australian national team uh-huh. because I couldn't use the internet properly. So I was like, search football team, and it's like, okay, sure. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, at least you have a team. You back? I kind of. I'm like I don't have like a faithful team. No, like I don't. I don't. Ha- Stay faithful to a team because I don't like back up any teams. I kind of just follow the players around. Like I just like this guy or I like that guy. I'm pretty sure I said this before, but yeah. And uh, didn't Manchester City get Jack Greedish, right? No clue. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Jack, you don't know who Jack Greenish is? Like big calves, and he. Is uh, that all you're, what you're looking at? Yeah, and he's good as well. Never mind, never mind. Forget about, forget about football. Let's move on to futsal. I was watching uh, the futsal World Cup quite a bit now. It just happened. It's happening right now. Actually, I think Spain is going up against another country right now wait what country was it i forgot spain is actually having a match like right now live right now <laughs> oh what? what who are they up against i forgot <laughs> but i think just, just search it real quick okay they're up against angola spain <laughs> angola some african country probably be very careful, Kada. <laughs> I am pretty sure Angola is an African country. I'm going to say. I am goddamn sure. I'm going sure. to say South America, actually. No, oh, no. you're right. You're right, you're right. There. I'm smart. Anyways, yeah, I've been watching that. Thailand's actually been doing pretty well. Except we kind of <laughs> suck defensively. It, are we in groups? Is this Yeah, group yeah. Days? We're in groups. I think we're not gonna make it to round sixteen. I don't know. I think we can because we might because uh we lost to Portugal. Our group is Portugal. Mor- yeah, Portugal is really good. <laughs> Portugal, Morocco, and Solomon Islands and Thailand. So that's our group. Okay, we might. Yeah, we might. You they take two teams out of. Yeah. But the group. Morocco is freaking good. Like uh I was watching the our match against them. We didn't we tied, but we should have lost that match so bad. <laughs> Morocco had so many uh chances. They were passing the ball around. They were just better on the on the field. Uh, their technical ability was better, their passing was better, their defensive ability was better, everything was better, and they had so many chances, it's just that they didn't finish their chances. And then Thailand freaking tied in like the last 12 seconds with a power play, which is basically the goalie comes out to play. So yeah, the last 12 seconds we freaking tied. So we should have lost that. I, I don't know if we could get in. It's... I feel like it's either gonna be Portugal, Morocco, or Portugal, Thailand. So yeah, Morocco, Thailand, huh? Yeah, we tied Morocco one-one. And last we- twelve seconds. That must have been. So yeah, intense. it was. <laughs> I was watching it. I was get- I was getting chills, man. But like, yeah, well, and we lost Portugal four-one, I believe. So not we didn't lose too badly. And then yeah, we that's okay. we destroyed Solomon Islands, uh, nine four. Oh. Yeah. But like, seriously, our defensive ability is really bad. That's that's how Solomon Islands got four goals, and also how Morocco was just like tearing up our defense. 
So yeah, our defense is really bad, but like, uh, I was watching that, the, the match against Solomon Islands, and we were kind of bullying them. <laughs> it was, like, so we got into the lead, and then I, it is a strategy, so they played a flying goalkeeper, which is basically the goalkeeper comes out to play, so that we keep getting more goals, and we make them have to catch up to us. So yeah, it was quite um, sad for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Any fans from Solomon Islands, please raise your hand. <laughs> How even is that like in Central America or something? I really want to say like Europe, <laughs> but that might be too obvious. I don't know. I I really don't know. Just I don't know. Just leave it for now. I it's mean, always... but if we get into the group, like into the World Cup, then that would be pretty good for Thailand. We need, we need football for the World Cup, but all. Hmm. Uh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> that's never gonna happen. Believe for that, believe. No, 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 no. Not in a good while. Oh shoot, what am I pressing? What? I don't know. I was just checking how long it's been. Oh, no. oh, fine. Yeah. Have you been like tagged on Facebook by some random people to like watch this porn <laughs> or something? No, I just get like Instagram bots. I don't know, I feel like people are getting hacked, but I don't know because it happened like to me quite a few times now. Do you wanna talk about your little Well oh, I'll talk about that happened. later. That no, this is unrelated. I don't know. Some yeah. people have been tagging me on Facebook and then it's always like the mass tag, so they tag a bunch of different people. And some of these people are not even friended with me, so I'm just like, how are they tagging me? You can do that? I didn't know you could do that. You can. We can't? Well, anyways, yeah, I don't know, they they always tag a bunch of people to to watch this porn link or whatever, and and then there's always like two comments underneath by the person, the offer, the tagger. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know if people have been getting hacked or whatnot. It happened to me like five times now. Oh no, what a nightmare, you've been hacked to watch porn. No, I haven't been hacked. I've just been tagged at these... Whatever. I think it, <laughs> it happens, but I mean... I'm barely... Hmm. On. Well, I feel like, what's the point of... I don't know, watching it, I guess. So, the like, maybe... Something. What? What if... Maybe, like, I don't know, if one... If you when someone actually clicks it, you get a virus or something. I, I don't know. Maybe they just want to traumatize some kids, you know how people can be. Hmm. No idea. No idea. Maybe, maybe my one was gonna be hacked, but then I put two-step verification on. Hmm. Speaking about that, that's freaking- I got scammed hard. It's but not, not hard. No, it's not even bad. But it's kind of stupid. So like, I was I was sleeping at like I don't know twelve or something. I usually wake up later than that. So um, <laughs> and then my little brother comes in my room, and wakes me up, wakes me up. He's like, "Oh, you got a package?" I was like, "What? What package?" And like, this is when my dad was out. So was Tita. Because, yeah, they were out. Um, Pimu was out. Whoops, whatever, it doesn't matter. She was out. Uh, and basically, all the adults were like not home. So, I, I went out to get my package, my package, and I was like half asleep. And I was like, what is this? And then. The guy was like, oh, you got this package, are you Qatar? I was like, yes, I'm Qatar. And then you have this package. I was like, what? What? 
So I was a bit confused at first, but then I was like, whatever, maybe someone just ordered something, right? So I just paid, and then it was like, you had to pay cash on delivery, so I paid for it. And then I went in, and then, yeah, they left, I went inside, I opened it up. It's a freaking car vacuum cleaner. I was just, I was just like, what is this? <laughs> like, what? I was like, did I accidentally order something? So I went, and then I checked my, like, Lazada history and all that. I was like, what? What? I had, because I didn't order anything. But, like, it was kind of weird because on, like, the the package, it had my address. It had my my old phone number that I don't use anymore. And it had my name. It had all my, basically had all my information. So I was like, what is this? How, how has this been sent to me? But anyways, I, yeah, I spent like 140 baht for that. I'd... Yeah, the scammers got their money if they were scamming. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it was. I It could be a bomb or something. <laughs> Do you still have it? Yeah. What <laughs> is it? <laughs> Get this gun. I haven't even opened it. Uh, just... uh, and then he, he, you, he called me, right? Like, oh, you know, oh my god, I think I got stabbed. And I'm trying, we were trying to figure out where this came from, but we didn't know, like, the perpetrator. <sighs> it was a funny day. Honestly, man. Okay, okay, here it is. Here is what I bought. What I ordered. I didn't freaking order it. Uh,. Hi, wait. Can you can it read whatever? I'll just read it off. High power vacuum cleaner portable. Yeah, I don't fucking need this. What like? I, I don't. I don't have a car. Why would I need this? So anyways, yeah, I bought this useless item now. And yeah, I pay for the a product I didn't order. And then, but then I went like on a huge security check. I was just like, okay, this is, this is weird. And yeah, because the thing is before, um, I had these people calling my number saying that, that my old number, this was the number that was on the package. So like, uh, these people were calling me up and saying, uh, hey, uh, are you, uh, no. Is this number this number? I was like, yes, this is this number. And then they asked for a girl's name, which was not me. So yeah, and then they said, basically, uh, they ordered something from them. And then, and then, what was it? Yeah, they didn't get what they ordered or something. So I was just like, well, um, I'm sorry, I am not uh, that girl. And they're like, do you know this girl? I'm like, nope. But the thing is, I don't, uh, and I don't know what, if these people were actually being scammed or if I was the one they were trying to scam, right? So like, because I don't know, because they're saying, okay, I need to put it uh, in a police report or blah, 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 blue, blue, or whatever. So yeah, that was, that was basically that. So basically I was already skeptical of this kind of stuff. So I did this, this freaking package thing was a, was the last straw. I was like, okay, what is, what the heck is going on? How does someone have my address and my, my phone number and all that? Because it's, it's kind of scary knowing that, um, someone knows all your details and information and that they can just take that and then act as you and, you know, I don't know, do what the frick they do, you know? It's kind of like, bruh, it's kind of scary. So yeah, I went on a massive security check, and apparently, there's somebody has uh, was on my Facebook account and my Instagram. So like on one of my uh, emails, so I was like, what, what is this? 
And the reason why I didn't read the security alert before because it's usually because I I just like jump around on so many different devices. Sometimes I use my sister's phone or my dad's phone or something like that or their computer and whatnot. And yeah, so then <coughs> someone has been using my account. It was not me because I know that I've been here this whole time. It was like in some other place. It was. It's not. Uh, it's like it's in Lopri area. Actually, no, more like Sarabri. So like around there, kind of like Northern Lopri, I guess. Like almost Sarabri. So, yeah, yeah someone was uh, on my Facebook and my Instagram. I was like. Who is this? That I immediately uh, logged out of every single uh, account or email, but you know the, that stuff. And then I set up two step authentic on uh, <laughs> authentication. <laughs> yeah, mm. e <laughs> immediately. But like, I was just wondering how do how do you get in my account? How? It's kind of weird and scary because it's like someone has all my information just now but you have your uh, suspicions though right you don't have to say yeah i do have my suspicions but also i can't comprehend <laughs> to uh the motive behind so yeah yeah that kind of spooked me for a little bit just knowing that someone was on my account and had all my information and was doing stuff like this so yeah but now i think i have my two-step verification I, I feel a lot more secure i guess and if i get some random package i am definitely not gonna buy it <laughs> i was maybe i was also maybe pressured as well you know because like when someone comes to to your home right with a package and it's like this package is for you and it has your name on it it has your old phone number or whatever you kind of get pressured to be like is this mine <laughs> right no he's just saying that because i mean i dad I'm just... got pissed that he bought the package <laughs> well yes uh yeah i was that was i was dumb okay i, I was dumb because normally <laughs> you like us, like us, we never forget what packages we buy. Yeah. It's not, we've never done like anything like impulse buy. Hmm. Yeah. Just like, oh, I see this uh, purchase. Man. Exactly. Wait for it. We've, I've always chosen what I've wanted and waited like weeks up until then and then I'll get it. Hmm. Right. Yeah. We just don't have the luxury of, oh, we like this freaking car vacuum so i'm gonna get <laughs> exactly but like i feel like especially for me i don't think i would buy this now i mean like buy a random package now but like i feel i think what got me to actually buy it was i don't know it had my name on it i was probably pressured just because i don't know someone's in my house delivering something with my name on it there's also a bunch of people who usually order stuff so i was i thought maybe it could be theirs right and also i do not like confrontation <laughs> it's i you know it's kind of like i like to be submissive <laughs> if you if you know what i mean i, I kind of just want to get it over use with that word no nah, okay i try, i kind of want to just get it over with without you don't want to be confrontational. That's pretty yeah. Much it. Well, I, I mean, just be polite. Yeah. It's it's your package, okay? Yeah, sure. But I I'm definitely not gonna buy some random package again. No way. I really like, I'm gonna put my foot down, and say no, and <laughs> or then they'll beat you with it. <laughs> you ordered <laughs> this. <laughs> Now I'll be like, hey, 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 don't beat me. I got a car vacuum. I'll suck you off. <laughs> that's that's kind of 
<laughs> yeah, it will freak them Sus. out if the delivery guy, if the delivery person is a guy, and I'll be like, I'm gonna freaking suck you off. They're gonna be so freaking freaked out. They're like, but, uh, you, it depends what get guy <laughs> who delivers your package, okay? <laughs> Oh, I want to deliver my package. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's that. Just change the topic. Yeah. So, uh, what have you been up to lately? Don't ask, man. Whole ton of sleep and work. That's it. Work and sleep is all I can talk about. I want my birthday's coming up in two weeks. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, isn't that a good thing? You go out eat Ta-da! something. Do uh, I don't know? I feel like for us, we just don't like me. What? Do you like your birthday? I. I think it's okay. I mean, like, it's better than a normal day, I guess. Depends. It's not like I'm gonna get a day off. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe your work w- workplace will be like, Hey, it's your birthday, let's give you a day off. That will be the best day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> nah, I was thinking when re- the reopening happens, which is very confusing right now, Hmm. But I'll just no, I don't want to like a giant party or something. Yeah. Similar. I just want I want to go bowling. And <laughs> just a nice game of bowling. Why? You know, just like a normal thing. Because hmm. it's so normal to do nothing. So doing that is just over the top. It's going oh, it's over the edge now. Hmm. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I uh, bowling is that is that even possible? Or bowling no, alley that's even? I, that's open? what I mean. Like when reopening happens, which is, will probably be after the fact. What's confusing what? right now? Aren't they reopening on October or something? October first. It's either the first or the fifteenth. Ah, uh. and just even talking about oh maybe we should extend it even longer. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. People need to get on with their lives, honestly. I don't think they can keep the lockdowns any... They want... Oh. Oh, yeah. I got my... Yeah, speaking of... Well, I got my second shot. That's one thing, I guess. It was what? a lot better. So you're immune now? Not... Actually, no. You're not immune. You're I'm just not immune higher anymore, immune. I'm like 90% or something. I don't know the stats. Hmm. But it wasn't as bad as last time. Even though, it depends for most people. I'm just young and healthy, okay? <laughs> it's different but, for others. Yeah. First time was fever when like, I felt sleepy, headaches, a bit of a sore throat. And then I slept through a fever. Like I woke up, I had a fever, went back to sleep, was gone. Second one was I just felt sleepy all day. And maybe uh. a slight headache. But that was probably just from waking up. <laughs> Yeah, so it was a lot better for me. That's just my take. I know it'll be a lot worse. Yeah, I can uh, totally relate to this topic. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. Like, you guys are anti vax. I'm not anti vax. I'm pretty sure. No, it's just because it's probably be, it's Bangkok. That's why they want to get. Like red zones cleared out first before they re- reopen. I don't know if Lopri is a red zone. No idea. I think it's like okay, you guys still get cases, but it's not as. It's not that much. Maybe like. Yeah, exactly. Eighty I mean. a day. It's not, it's not as. Uh, it's not as important to do it. But I've seen like friends on Facebook be getting their second shots, so I don't see why you guys can't. Huh? Oh, wow, that's, uh, money. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, and plus, I'm not sure. And plus, the thing is, even if we do get vaccinated, the ones who aren't gonna get vaccinated that are in our household are not gonna be immune, so we still can't go out. If you know what I mean, because you can still spread it, right? Yeah, that's true. So it, it, it but it's, it's quicker for it to go away because it'll be dying while trying to mm. get it somewhere else. Yeah, but I still think it's too risky. So you're saying I can't go home yet? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Your yeah. choice. No, I already said my holiday was in December, so it'll be a long time. Mm. Yeah, I just don't want to go out and play football and end up killing everyone here, so... Yeah. <laughs> you know it's not that bad. Oh, I mean, you never know. You never know. It's different for everyone. So... And I'd rather not take that risk. But I really want to. <laughs> really, really want to. Yeah. I don't know, because everyone else is going out. I'm just like, you little frickers. You're posting on their stories and all that. I mean, technically, you could go get one yourself. Uh, I could, but like. <clears throat> Stop. <laughs> but uh, I need other things right now, like uh, uh, mm, phone, phone. Please, very, very, uh, <laughs> very important. No, I feel like it, it actually is important for me to get a phone. I think like I've explained before, my phone is old and bad. Yeah, it's very, it's it's basically it's getting outdated. It's getting to the, to the point where apps are starting not to be are not able to update because I don't have enough space on my phone. My phone is basically I I can't delete anything because th these apps are what I use now. Like I need to use these apps, so I and I can't get anything else. And yeah, it's just very inconvenient and also. No, uh, the screen is a little bit cracked. Okay, that was from you. <laughs> you dropping it. The one time I dropped my phone countless times. It's never cracked. He drops it once. <laughs> cracked. <laughs> to be fair, my phone that I've I've dropped my phone so many times too. Yeah, but yeah. Your phone's like yeah, your phone's almost six years old or something. <laughs> Yeah, it it just needs to be um replaced. Yeah. Oh, I really wanted uh I really want to get the iPad mini. It looks so cute. It's why like, you like small things? I have I have small hands. That's why. But I feel like, like what why would you want a small iPad? I'm you so could, used could, to smaller phones i never get the sense it was like people have like phones where they're six inches now or something like yeah. i can't i want to be able to use my home phone one-handed you can still S six inches it's great you're it's gonna be hard to stretch by your phone. it's also wide as well mm. i've used smaller phones you know I've, i had like iphone 4 and then the biggest phone I had was the Samsung A5, and that was like 5.2. That's considered small now. Hmm. I don't know. I've... I just like big phone, big screen. But yeah, iPad Mini is so cute, but it's so expensive. It's a new one that came out. It's like new design. Nah, just get a like a uh, normal Android tablet. Who uses Android? Everyone, is there? Sad Everyone, people. iPhone is just a status symbol. iPhone. iPhone. I okay, iPhone? iPhone is just camera and status symbol. That camera, is iPhone. Status symbol. Games. What games? OS. You don't down. You don't buy an iPhone to play games. Sure you do. No, you don't. People use iPhones to like uh, stream. Stream what? 
games. What games? Play games. Like iPhones, ROV, PUBG, iPhones can take Fire, games. They play those because it's easier to record. You know how hard it is sometimes to record on your Android phone? We had to have... Maybe it's just the phones we used before. It's I just... just I don't... Well, that Regarding that, I don't really care about recording on my phone. I'm just talking about the positives. <laughs> and I feel like yeah. most people uh, record mobile games on their computers. Depends. It's not like you use a mouse and keyboard to play mobile games. It's so sad. Mm. sad. I feel like if it's not a game, like if it's not a game that requires you like, to use your fingers or something. Yeah, not a game like Free Fire because I tried playing that on an emulator. It doesn't work that well. Basically, if it doesn't work well on a computer, then yeah, they will probably record on a phone, but. I feel like ROV can can be played on a phone. I mean, on, on computer stuff like Brawl Stars can be played on computer, uh, and also like simple, simpler like role playing games like Seven Nights, basically gotcha Seven games. That, auto games. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, they usually play on computers. Yeah. Mm. I was yeah. I just prefer Android. Did you did you see the new iPhone though? I have not been keeping up with any of new devices of anything. Pretty sure if I showed you, you wouldn't tell which one's the new one. I don't even know. Like, what was the latest so one? So the newest one. Okay, originally the cameras were straight, like this are you know two cameras. Yeah. One here, one here. The newer version that came out, that's coming out, is like this. So it'll be a camera here, and a camera here. What's the difference? The difference is, is the iPhone 12 is cheaper, and I'm going for that one. You're gonna buy an iPhone 12. I'm gonna get the mini version. Mm, of course you are. You and your what? small... Size doesn't matter, Kata. Hey, yes it does. Wow. Oh. I mean, I better. guess like battery life. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> battery life <laughs> could be a lot better, but I just like my iPhone SE. Going any bigger would probably be like big, big. You know what I mean? Just a gr- slow, gradual incline to normal people size phones. Uh, I feel like the SE is way too small. No, not this little. Bit it's one. too small, man. It's tiny. Like my hand is bigger than that thing. I was able to play RV on that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, bigger phones are just better for gaming. If you're talking about gaming and stuff, bigger stuff is better. Well, yeah, but just for my preference, I don't play games anymore. Hmm. I feel like my size is good. I don't even know how big it is. Uh, my one is point one. I feel okay. I feel like the normal, smaller. maybe like the normal iPhone. Maybe, I don't know. How do I compare it? iPhone six, normal size? That's like six point four. It's not that big. Ta-da. Your one's considered the mini. My one isn't even that big. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't think phones are that big. <laughs> I think they're normal. <laughs> I think your one is tiny, that's what. Whatever. <laughs> tiny good. Pero. <laughs> Pero. <laughs> whoa, 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 you gonna call me that when you're into. Look at, look at your what? What? decorations. What is that? What? What? She's, tiny... like, she's like 400, isn't she? I'm pretty tiny sure. milfs. There we go. It's so weird. It's chibi. Yeah, chibi, small. They're not, but this is like a decoration. All your decorations are small. This is like you style. Prefer- this is like stylized. Oh, so if it's tiny, stylized, then it's, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. just Never dress mind. them up a Never little bit mind. better. Okay, it's fine. Never mind, say. Never mind. Okay. Little, 
the samurai guy is staring into my soul. So I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Why'd you leave me with them? Why did you buy this? Honestly, I don't know what this it's is. It's like this little harem now. He's like the main Ew, character. Ew! No, I'm the main character. You. <laughs> That's disgusting. You're too I'm big joking. for them. I'm joking. That's like it's a colossal okay, titan just, head. Can we just go and talk about something else? <laughs> what? I don't know. What else have you been doing? Oh. Freaking I was juggling the other like past hour. <laughs> uh, how many? No, I can't. No, I have like limes here, right? Yeah. I just left it on the tail. I've just been like practice. I can, I can maybe do like four cycles. Try, okay, actually. go on. Go try right now. That wasn't even one. That was one! <laughs> you didn't catch it. <laughs> it was one cycle. You, no, was no, one. it wasn't. Yeah, you, you know you, what? I'm gonna try again. You don't think I heard that thud at the end? That was my feet stomping. <laughs> sure. Triumph. Now, it's very hard to run a podcast and juggle at the same time. <laughs> Well, go on. Hey, that's one. Bye. Well, go on, do four. It's not a, I told you that's my most. Well, okay, do at least two. You're putting pressure on me. I don't know if people will be watching. You have like an <laughs> audience, man. What do you mean? What is Lord? Lord. <laughs> They're cheering you on, saying they're like, "Oh, oh, go on!" <laughs> ah, I did it! I did like free. Did you, were you even watching? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit sloppy, though. But whatever. Frick. We move. Thank you. What skill did you learn, huh? I don't know. <laughs> How to buy stuff from scammers. Should not like a private investigation and like confronted him. No, I've that's too much work. And I just said I hate confrontation. Yeah, but he scammed. Oh yeah. If I, if I if I, I saw someone who scammed me and I know they scammed me, I would not confront them. I just say I don't think I would confront them. Say so just think, the person who borrowed money from you, you saw them, right? Or something. Are you gonna go ask them straight up? Hey, hey, give me back my money. I'm going to ask them. Straight up, you're gonna walk up to them. Didn't you see somebody? I saw. Who... Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw them during the soccer match, but I was like, I can't be asked right now. <laughs> hey, you don't believe me? I'm going. If I see them, I'm going to ask them. I'm not gonna be like, Hey, where's my freaking money? I'm just gonna be like, So you're gonna pay me back, or do I have to wait? Like. One other person. <laughs> no, one no. other, one other be person like... though. One other person though. I'm. I don't know. We'll see. Yes. I'm not like being all toughy. I just, I'm just frustrated with this individual. And, mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can't constantly be kind to people for money. Mm. I like to like if he she straight up said oh I'm going I can't couldn't pay back I was like struggling yeah say that please like let me know if you can't pay me back because that's fine I can wait <laughs> just but yeah just say just I can't pay you back right now don't just disappear let me think yeah this guy ghosted me so mm. it's just it's a shame because Oh. You'll see me in a few years and then be sad about it. Will he even remember? I hope he does. I just <laughs> be success successful and I rub it in his face. Mm. Yeah. Wait, how long has it been? How yeah. long? 
One hour and thirteen. <clears throat> we still got time. Probably, if we have any more topics to talk about. I keep asking you, what are you up to? Because uh, nothing really happens here most of the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why we've never visited in a long time. The last time I saw you guys were back in. April. It's been already s over six months already. I guess. Twenty twenty one is steaming through. I think it's one of the fastest years I've ever experienced. I think it's just so fast, just because we just do the same thing every single day, and it just goes by. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Booby. So what? Yeah, I saw you were working on a new song. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with the results trying to do. I was actually gonna go for like a like a '90s thing, but I need to get a bass guitar, like a proper one. I can't just mimic one like on a computer. I need to actually use <laughs> one. Like what? I was just thinking, <laughs> you mimic one, you just go next to the mic and just, you just go, Ooh. You know, you know what <laughs> I mean, there's like, you know, plugins and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's just better for you to do it on your own, so I'm actually going to get a guitar soon. Would have been nice if we had one at home. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to it. Something in your nose. No. <laughs> it is my home. I can pick my nose whenever I want. Bad. Nah. Bad for you. How is it bad for me? I am unclogging my system. Why are boogers uh, there? <laughs> huh? Why are like boogers in your nose? Well, just, like know. dust clumping up or I don't know your body does weird stuff man like it's just weird weird stuff <laughs> like why <laughs> why does my like armpits have to stink I don't know why um because uh, it's like rotting inside that's why stink. is there eye doo doo that's I haven't gone to that in a long time actually what I haven't gone to that in a long time. Is my like eyes too strained? I don't know. I feel like well, I get I it every day. I, I don't know. Maybe you still get it. You just don't know. You just wipe it off uh, yeah, subconsciously. Like yeah, I guess. Yeah, we, your body just does weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boogers. <laughs> Boogers in it. <laughs> How's that funny? It's, it's, it's funny because... It's just, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> moving on! Moving on! Oh, I was reading manga the other day. I was reading One Punch Man, I caught up. And then... So you went all the way to the webcomic? No, no, not the webcomic. I caught up to the manga. Okay. And One Punch Man gets serious. It's getting serious. Just give me a trailer for the next season. Uh, for the next season? I don't know if they're getting another season. They're but, getting another season. But it's not going to be anytime soon, I think. Because I feel like how they ended all season 2, I feel like they shouldn't even have made season 2. Because this, this, whole, they, this whole arc is so big. Like, season 2, you remember the end of season 2, right? Season 2 was kind of like a part 1 or something. Yeah. Season 2, like, ended abruptly, and then I read the manga, and... Honestly, they should have not made season 2, and then... Just wait till this arc finishes, because it's a massive... Arc, the, uh, the Monster Association, or, and Higaro, and whatever. It's a big arc, and it's like it's like right in the middle of it right now. Well, not in the middle, like 
and like the most climactic part right now. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know how long it will take to finish. But it gets serious, man. I didn't, I didn't know one punch man could get serious. Like, goddamn, and the art is so good, and... Oh, <laughs> oh, you should read it. No, I am an anime only most of the time. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. I was thinking of st starting the, the One Piece manga, but I'm like... Do I really want to catch up to the manga instead of watching the anime? I don't know. Should I read the manga? Because I, f I hear people why, saying why the manga just, is good and stuff. Yeah, why don't you just read off of like the last episode that you watched from? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. And then you just continue off from there. I don't remember what was the last episode I watched her up from at all. Yeah, me neither. Been months. I've just been letting it come out and, and haven't been touching it yet because it doesn't seem like anything is happening. Yeah. Manga. What else is there? Oh my god. Did you see the last episode of Boku no Hero though? No. That I, gave I, me chills. I haven't really been watching that either. It's, okay, one. Okay, uh, when it came to the, the, the filling part, where I don't know what's his name, the, the guy with the hands. <laughs> Do you mean the big nose, San? Uh, I think it's like Sanji's voice. The decaying guy, the guy who rots things. You know, the leader of the villain league, I don't know, Shigaraki or something. Uh, I, I think you're right. Tomura Shigaraki? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, when it came to him, right, he was when it came to his group, and he was I don't know fighting some giant or whatever. Oh yeah, all right. Spoilers for <laughs> Boku no Hero, but yeah, when it came to that, I was just like, I am so bored. I was so bored. I no. that I can't watch the next few ones and then the last one. Last one shocked me. I was like. It's still mm. it's like this can be like one of the one of the best animes. Hmm. Man, yeah, what? They're just the the highs the highs hit. I think it's the best one of the best episodes I've watched. Mm. Like next to uh, the finale with uh, what was that? What's that guy's name? The beak guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nomu? No, the guy that could tear apart some. Oh, what was his name? Big guy. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot his name. The guy with a really nice voice and uh, yeah, and the itchiness. Yeah, that one, and then also next to All My Versus All uh, for One. Yeah. Mm. I don't this think is, it's not even fighting though. That's mm. why it's that. that good. I'm not gonna just say too much. You just have to see it for yourself. Uh, I don't think it's well. With, for me at least, I don't think My Hero Academia has done anything like that for me. Like give me any chills or anything. I feel like it's just good. Like the good parts are pretty good. And, but most of the time, it's really jagged out and almost boring. Especially right now, from what I just watched, of where he's fighting the giant. The whole episode, I was, just, I was just like, I really don't care, and I'm not interested. I, I don't know, maybe... I don't know if it's just me, though. So. Oh, no, no, I still think this, this series is boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just there's very few moments that's it mm. just the good moments are pretty good kind of like one piece it's very dragged out <laughs> yes i'm not gonna draw, you should not compare i'm games. gonna compare it it one piece i know i'm just gonna say better. i'm just gonna say in one piece it's kind of the same thing you got the, the some the very boring dragged out episodes 
but then like when the high moments come the, the good parts come it's really really good it's, that's it yeah yeah I can't even deny it <laughs> it's just I feel like that's the the long running anime curse that always happens. I feel maybe yeah, the short ones are the good ones. Yeah. Hmm. Depends on what Ragnarok. <laughs> execution. That's one example where it's like short. Ah, execution. That could have just. He should have just stretched it to 200 episodes for that season. It would have been a di- there would have been a difference. <laughs> oh, just uh, it just needs good animation. I don't know. It's a fighting anime. You need good animation. Oh yeah, I. But the reason why I rewatched the, the I mean no, I read the One Punch Man manga is because I rewatched the anime. And season one was. Get good. We know. Season. Everyone knows. I know. I know. But like, I go back and watch it. I'm just like, this is so good. I've watched it five, like over five times. <laughs> yeah, I've watched it many times, but like every time I come back, I'm like, this is so good. It's. It. It was. I think that's just one punch. I don't think it can ever come back to that, like ever. Unless they get the same team and a bigger budget. I don't know. Has any other anime gotten to that level of entertainment? Uh, <laughs> Fate is the closest one I can mm. think of. Because when I, I when I wanted to rewatch it, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna watch it like uh, what I eat, one episode a day probably. But then I ended up binging it because it was so good. I think the closest one I well uh, the closest one I can think of it's not reaching it but it's fate in terms of hmm. enjoyability maybe not it's longer though and mm-hmm. it gets confusing at times but they got fan service <laughs> wow and no they don't got fan service they got fans <laughs> that's it no, they got money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw this news article. Apparently, I don't know. The owner of Euphotable has been evading tax. That's funny. what a shocker. That's where, but, that's where all the money went. <laughs> the all the money went to. This all the tax money went to. Yeah, I think he's like gonna go to, to court or something. I don't know what's gonna happen. But please, you foodable, stay with us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if the leader's gone, the team will be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, he wasn't like the main guy that like handled everything. Mm. But what fate are you talking about? Because there are a lot of fates. All the fates. All. Of them. Except for the shield one. That's kind of, that's kind of sad. Grand order. Yeah, I didn't really like that one. That is made for the people who play the mobile game. Okay. And then another one was like Mordred. Fate Apocrypha. Yeah. Your phone died. It's, what? 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 Maybe it's the app. That- oh my god. Katas, the one who froze this time. <laughs> I didn't freeze. What? Why? Why though, Bruh. Your phone's low battery. It it's, happens no, all the time. No, it's not. Mine is sixty-two percent. No, it just oh. disconnected from my internet for some reason. Oh, that's just your phone then. Yeah, it's just disconnected from my internet and it connected for to Janny Jung for some reason. I don't know what the. <laughs> ah, ah! I dropped the little robot. Sad. I should be back. I got. To, I connected back to my Wi-Fi. You don't have an awkward face when you froze. So. You're not I, froze, I think like, it's pretty awkward. But uh, you compare it to like when I go like when I'm talking. Your your photo was taken when you're listening to me. Hmm. Like when I'm talking. Can I like, refresh this, please? I don't know that. 
Oh my god, why? Well, we can end it if we're off now, actually. If not. But. Just try to get your camera back. Hey, yo. What's up? <laughs> it's the gig. Let's go. <laughs> Minus. It's like, these two are not my. Oh, yeah, these two are not the miners. Anyways, what was I talking about? I forgot. One Punch Man? A tax evasion? Oh, no, no, no. Fate. Yeah. Uh, oh. I feel like Fate is enjoyable for another reason. Not. I feel like One Punch Man was almost purely fights, but also they do got interesting characters and world. Like, the world is pretty goddamn interesting. I mean, it's friggin'... Like, they have a ranking system to make it easier for people to like no things and honestly that's that was i think every fighting anime should do that freaking like rank them by like this is s class this is a class these people are b stuff like that it's the only ranked class i actually like yeah just compared to yeah i'm just i'm gonna complain on naruto again <laughs> with their rank classes because yeah, just, they have, just they have their rank classes <laughs> but it's not consistent yeah, just like well, you can obviously. Sorry, sorry. I'll yeah, go, go, on, go, on, go, on, go. Uh, you can obviously see the difference between A and then S. Yeah, B to A. You see, like tune in to Jonin, sure, but then get into Jonin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's not clear. I feel like everyone knows S, and A, and B and C. It's, it's just simple. Everyone knows that. And also, the world's just very uh, well built. Like, I liked how there's different cities. There's city A to Z. It's like quite straightforward, but also very interesting. And like, I always, I, I really wanted to know like who the number one hero was as well. It's like, I don't know, can be interested in in the world outside of the fights as well. You know. But with Fate, Fate is enjoyable, I think, because of its... <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> Story? Its fights? Its fights are good, but like, I don't know, it's more known for its story, I guess. I like maybe. Kiritsugu's arc. I think that was probably the best one. The I think one. people put Fate Zero at the top. And then unlimited uh, <laughs> unlimited blade works second maybe. Wait, what's at the top? Stay. Fate zero. Oh zero. Okay. So, fate zero, and then next one is probably unlimited blade works. Not the movie. The movie. No, not the movie. <laughs> and actually, I haven't watched the 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 heavens feel. So I wouldn't know, but apparently they're probably good because I've saw clips and Squishy's watched it and he's told me to watch it. So, maybe. Maybe. You should watch them all and do like a ranking. <laughs> all the fates. You know how many fates there are? I don't know, 10? <laughs> oh my- Nah. It's like fate is like its own universe. Franchise, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of Marvel. Fate is on that level, basically. Nah, it's not that it- broad. <laughs> For an anime, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's like saying it's that's like saying it's the shonen jump. Listen, say 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 just watch um Gigux video. Explaining the entire Fate series badly. That, that gets you a pretty good I- idea of how broad Fate actually is. <laughs> okay. But it's like, never- I feel like the ones to watch are Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feel. I wouldn't say Apocrypha because honestly I don't remember much about Apocrypha. So I, yeah. I can see like how they can make a bunch of them as well because they're not really in chronological order. Yeah, you can go to the past. They're kind of no. I think they're roots. 
because uh, Fate originated from a light novel game. Yeah, so you can pick like this route, you could go this route, stuff like that. But yeah, so like Fate Stay Night, the first one, which everyone doesn't like, is a different route. I feel like, I think that's the Saber route, I think. And then Unlimited Blade Works, I think is the Tulsa Karin route. I believe. Okay, this is very. This is. I. This is from my very minor knowledge of fate. Uh, and then. Heaven's feel. I think it's the Sakura route. So yeah, and then Fate Zero is the past, right? The Kuritsugu, blah blah boo boo. Best luck. I don't remember much about it actually. I watched it when I was kind of in the stage of still watching anything, so I don't really remember. I remember, so baby, huh? The stage of watching anything. You could be like a freaking newborn. Yeah, well, yeah, I could like it, the, I would watch anything. Seriously, I would just go. I would. It was the stage where I would go on like Kiss Anime or GoGo -Go or whatever. Look, I'd go to the browse. In alphabetical order, and just scroll. And if, see a, if I see a title that I think looks interesting, then I just watch that. That's how. <laughs> that's how I found the anime back then. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well, yeah. Should we end it now? How long has it been? Will I go for two hours? Well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's been two hours. Probably like an hour thirty, an hour forty, or yeah. thirty. I don't know. I recorded quite early, mm. like preparing it, and you went back to freaking fixing up. Do you want to know, guys? Like, you want to know how long Kata took to set his shit up? <laughs> it, it didn't take that long. Come on, it's not that long. Okay, I called him at ten. We started <laughs> at. 10.45 Because you wanted to try this new webcam app <laughs> Listen man Equipment stuff We haven't, do, we, <laughs> we haven't done the podcast in a while uh, My equipment was scattered everywhere My sister took my little arm thingy And I wanted to set up this stand as well Instead because the boom arm And the pop filter kind of get in the way and I know I should have been waving around my mic like this And make the audio all weird But I'm going to do it anyways Because it's fun Frick you guys, frick you, frick you, I gotta peek all your ears, I gotta break all your ears. You're editing this. Yeah, I know, so it, do it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Well, but, why did she not take your mic card? Uh, I don't know, uh, Ashley, she wanted to do like video calls with her sister, other sister, so, you know pet, actually no pet, <laughs> I just say pet, she has been on the podcast before. It's been <laughs> that long, guys, it's been <laughs> that long. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, basically I was trying trying new stuff. This setup is very uh, makeshift, look, I got all these books and boxes that the mic is standing on. You, so every, that every YouTuber starts with putting something on books. That's real. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, everything is very makeshift when you're starting out, so... Uh, We've technically haven't started out. We've started a long time ago. Well, we haven't gotten money from it, so that we, can, so we still can't upgrade. I've gotten, I've gotten money from it. I had <laughs> barely any... No, that's just not me. Just... You just spending. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some stupid things. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, let's end it. Uh, what did we? No, I'm not gonna say that. What have we what talked did about? What we learn <laughs> today? Uh. What, what Football, did we start this out with? Popcat. Yeah. Okay. Standards. Yeah. Thailand Cap is not international yet. Um. Football, uh, Thailand's doing pretty well in futsal. Foot um, take care of yourselves. Yeah, uh, K-pop. Arsenal sucks. China. 
China. Big oh, stock, you froze. Man. Oh. Um. Oh man. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, I'm not alone. Is, I'm not alone. Uh, bowling. Say wants to go bowling. Uh, One Punch Man season one is good. Season two is eh. And the manga is really freaking good. Fate. Uh, I recommend you watch Fate Stay Night first, just to get a knowledge of it. And then Unlimited Blade Works. Actually, no, just watch any. Just you don't need to watch Fate Stay Night. Watch Unlimited Blade Works. Not the movie. Uh, Zero. Yeah, those two are basically uh, uh, good, good. You'll have good time. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't get scammed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, that's it. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Well, uh... You ended off since you started it, so... No, that's not how it works. Yeah, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I'll have fun. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, link's in the description. You can check it out there. Video's coming very soon. Wink. It, I, I actually <laughs> it is actually it is okay i'm i have, I have i'm over halfway through okay I'm, what the robot no this time i actually got to see it <laughs> he's fallen twice now okay bye guys yeah bye, bye.